Hello and welcome to the next tutorial for Reddit CSS things. In this tutorial we're going to be creating a theme for our subreddit using a base color and mixing other colors with it to make alternating an alternating pattern on these comments which I'm sure you've seen in many different subreddits. It's pretty simple to put together just you know once you get it all set up you can pick whatever color and totally change what the theme looks like. Uh, it's very smooth good looking. So we'll get started. First thing we're going to want to do is get rid of this little selecting highlight thing that's annoying. So what we have here is this is affecting everything that's selected. Mostly, It's mostly based on RES because that's RES is what's doing this and so we need to tell it like not, we're not telling it not to do it, we're just telling it to give it a transparent color that's going to be the trick here. So we'll say background transparent none and then important just in case it's going to clash with something. We want to make sure it works. So when we save this, what should happen is whatever is clicked is just going to have a transparent so it looks like nothing's happening. So that's going to be our start. So the next thing we're going to do is change the entire background to whatever the base is going to be. So this right here pretty much affects everything in the subreddit. We have the body, which is this. We have the side, which is all this over here. We have the title box, which are all the little boxes and things like that. We have leave moderator, which is if you're the moderator, which you probably are. It's like this, just for your, your sake. No one else is going to see it, but you know, just to make your life easier. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to also give it a background, but this time to start off with, I'm gonna do like a it's like a light brown. You'll see what it looks like. See here, it's like a by light brown I meant dark, dark brown, not not light at all. So here you can see we now have just it's dark and it completely changes what the subreddit looks like. We now have like this dark brown look. So that's a it's a good start, right? So the next thing we're going to want to do is start rearranging things in the subreddit. The first thing is we're going to change the links. The links are all these. These are all considered links from here to like here. You can think of these as giant rectangles. We're going to give them all padding, which is basically going to push it away from the edges of wherever it's stored. So if we give it a number like 7, it'll push it 7 pixels from the edge or from the top depending on which direction we do it in. So padding you would the basic form is 0 0 0 0 with left right up and down in the different directions. So what we're going to do is the numbers I pick you can pick whatever you want, you know, play around with them see what looks good. Uh, I'm going to do this 15. So you'll see nothing changed, but these are all going to have more space in between them and be more pushed out so it looks a little centered. So you see everything's like got some space, got stuff to work with now. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give half the links. Right, so we're gonna be affecting the links again. We want to give half the links a different background color. So they have a very easy way of doing this. These are all considered links and they're all affected by a site table way of forming things, but it's simply considered odd and even. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3. You can see the numbers on the side here. So if you changed all the even ones, only 2, 4, 6, and 8 would be changed. If you changed the odd ones, it would be 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So we're going to do link dot even, and that's going to affect all the even links. So what we can do, just so you can see how it works, is we're going to do color, we'll do white. We'll save it. And now, we have every other one is white. Now, this looks like something, but the way to make this theme really look nice is by picking something close to the other colors. Just give it a little, you want to give it a little off. So what you do is, is if you hit F12 to open up your the uh, elements section, you can go, you'll, you'll probably end up here if you click like right on the title. You want to go up to here where it says even link self. 
you'll see we have our background color here. We could change it, and there's a color picker, so we'll change it to the original color. And now we want to make it a little lighter, so let's just go up a little and do, you know, something like that. I think that looks good. It's, you know, it's not too much, but it's a little, it's like a little accent. And we're going to want to copy that, go back into our style sheet, and put that instead of white. So when we save it, and we go back in here and we refresh, this is what it looks like now. You know, this is actually, this looks nice, right? Still, we're gonna play around with it, make it look a little better. The uh, the first thing, really the only thing we're gonna do, is give the side more room. So you see how there's a little edge here? We want to add that edge here, but there's no way to do that from this section because it doesn't realize there's something here. This goes all the way to the end of the screen, just has to be covered by the side. The side is what's gonna need the padding. So what we're gonna want to do. Unless, if you already have a side section, you can just throw this in there. But we're going to make a side section. And we're going to give it a padding to the left. And a padding to the right. So we'll do five pixels for both of them. We'll see how that looks. So you'll see, you might see this move a little when I save it. You see, it gets a little more centered. And now, if you watch here and here, you'll see it kind of straightens out. Now I've got a little space here, so it doesn't look like they're all connected and stuck together. So that's good. The next thing I'm going to do is remember we took away the ability to see what you selected, so it kind of just feels very static. We want to give the subreddit a kind of dynamic look to it. So what we're going to want to do is add a hover. We're going to add a hover to it. So when we hover it'll like light up a little, and we hover over here it'll also light up. So you want to pick a color that's just a little lighter than this and lighter than this, so they both are affected. So the way to do that, it's a little, you know, a little longer, not as intuitive as the other ones, is we're going to do body.listing page, which is where the site listing table is, and then dot thing dot link hovers. You remember links are all the links. If you just did thing.link, it would only affect the original, the ones that didn't get affected by this, all the odd ones. So by doing body.listing, it also affects the even ones, and make sure you get all of them. So we're going to do background, uh, and we will change the color. Let's see. We'll give it this color, so it has the same color. We'll see what it looks like. Right, as you see, it highlights. This is changing to the same color, so it's like, ah, oh, what is? We don't know what it's doing. So what we're going to want to do is let's go up to here, so we can find hopefully the hover, hover around here somewhere. So somewhere, get the hover. If you can't find the hover, like me, and it's just vanished off the face of the earth. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the lighter one. We'll find the color, and we're going to pick a one that's a little lighter to figure out what the highlight's going to be. Let's just do that. That's a good one. You know, just a little lighter. We'll grab that color, and we'll make that to be the hover color. So now, it's going to actually affect everything. So you can see, you can actually see when you highlight everything. So that's pretty much it. The last thing I'm going to do is add a line underneath the titles. So you'll see it'll give it a little more, just a little more style to it. So do dot title, and that affects all the titles of all the links. And we'll do border bottom. Now you can do border, and it'll circle the entire thing. You can do border top, left, right, you know, play around with it, see what you can get going. And... I will do black, so you can, as just an example, and then we'll change it to something more with the themes. You see we have all these lines now? Now what we're going to do is find the border, hopefully, we'll go to title, right? And now I need to find the border, so here's the border. We're going to go do that brown again, 
We'll see something like. Let's see. Go like ninety-seven something. Let's see something like that, but we want it to be a little darker. You can see you just want something that kind of fits in with your theme, so it doesn't stand out too much. Something like that, that'll be good. So we'll just copy and paste that in. And now we have a very nice looking theme. And just remember, you can change the color to anything you want. You know, change the color to the links. You can change the fonts, you know, fonts are always fun to play with. But yeah, that's really it. Hope you found it useful. And I'll see you next time.